Thanks for clicking on this one, guys. This is the fourth video in the Sonar for Dummy series. It has proven to be pretty popular, so I'm going to keep it rolling for you guys. If you have anything specific you'd like to see in one of these videos, please put it in the comments. If you have any questions, please put those in the comments as well. I do my best to answer every single one. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you would. And shoot a thumbs up on this video because it tells me you want more of these. And it also helps me out. So let's get started on this one. This one is how we pinpoint fish that we mark on our sonar. Uh, first of all, you have to do this when the fish are deeper. You know, the deeper the fish are, the easier it is for you to do this because your cone from your transducer gets wider as the water gets deeper. So you are able to see these fish a whole lot better when they are down deeper. Uh, typically summertime, you know, in fresh water. So this is from a lake right here. You can see pretty deep, 133 feet. All of these horizontal lines you see, those are our baits. So that is the lead line, you know, the lead uh, weight with our live herring swimming uh, on the hook. So right here, you're going to see a pretty heavy line. And right under it, you're going to see a thinner line. Uh, right there, you can see it kind of goes up and down. These little thin blue lines are the herring. That's just the herring swimming along that's on our hook. We have a you know pretty long leader here, several feet, so the herring can swim around. So the stable lines that you see are the lead weights and the, the little faint blue lines that move up and down are our herring. So you can kind of use what you know about that to pinpoint these exact fish that are feeding. So you can see the arches. Arches that zigzag up and down like this are good news. That means these fish are active. They're looking for bait. They're responding to your bait. And we caught quite a few fish this day. So in this video, right after this shot, you're going to see how we pinpoint the exact fish we see on the sonar and work to catch that exact fish. So stay with this one. You're going to see some really cool uh, you know, instances on how we use sonar to pinpoint individual fish, even some side scan stuff in this one. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't seen the first four videos in this series, I'll put the links here in the description. I would definitely watch those first because it'll all make more and more sense if you watch them in order. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you watching. Love the support. Can't thank you guys enough. Stay safe underwater. Leave a few from me. Love you. Mean it. All right, here we go. We are on a lake here. We are over deep water. We're fishing four down lines with herring, live herring on them. We are only fishing four lines so we can keep track of all four on the fish finder. So we can watch all four lines at once and see when a fish is interested and adjust the line accordingly. With 113 feet or whatever, you know, we have a lot of room for up and down. You know, if you're just a few feet below the fish, you won't hook up. You got to be slightly over the fish. Sometimes you got to be right on top of them. Sometimes these deep fish are not feeding, but they will take a bait if you whack them right in the face with it. So this is a very effective way of catching those fish. So what you're going to see here is a guy with a visor on. He's sitting down. That's Joey. Okay, behind the helm is myself and my buddy Steve, Striper Steve Knight. So we're watching the screen. Steve tells Joey to drop his bait. He can see his bait go down to a mark. You know, a nice arch. Fish doesn't look. He tells Joey to drop it again on that arch, and he hooks up. So let's check this out right now as it goes. It's very, very, very good stuff right here, and you can really see how effective your fish finder can be in deep water. All right, this is what happened. I'm trying to get the dang thing. I want to show you the screen what just happened Take here. Take them on up there around that troll motor so they don't wipe out that other rod over there. Going up here, way down around that motor. Steve was looking at these two fish right here. And Joe had this line right here. And Steve goes, drop it. And he saw these two. So he dropped it, leveled out. He says, drop it again. He dropped it and went right, bunked that, that fish right in the head. You can see right here. That fish just said, "What? I want it. He hooked up, and that's him bringing it up. He's hooked up right now. 
same exact thing just happened. <laughs> There's that fish right there. I'm telling you, it's not the same one. This was the first one. And that's the one that just happened now. Nope, you should get underneath, go underneath that motor over here. You're gonna wipe these other ones out. You can go all the way around. That's it, you're doing good. Way down in the water. You can grab that line. Yeah. We can all do it. It'll be a team effort. <laughs> I just uh, brought that bait up here, right up into these stripers we came across. He just brought it up to here and he saw that fish come and look at it. From here, went and came and looked at it. Look at him. Chase that bait. These are leaders are a little long so they can chase them all over the place right. there's a good one right there come on. Come on. Come on. There he is. Ooh, get it out get it out get it out nice there you go, there you go. nice <laughs> all right i had a lot of requests for some side scan stuff so I'm going to start with this one here. I'll add some more later on, but this is a great example how side scan is so important uh, for, for what I do anyway. If you're, you know, fish any uh, water less than 150 feet, it is uh, extremely useful. So right now I'm looking at the screen. Normally we would be casting our baits up to the bank, right? That's your natural, you know, kind of instinct. But I look at the screen and I see that they're on the deep side. I'm marking some fish out near the main river channel on the deep side so instead of pounding the bank we go ahead and cast on the left side and we caught those fish now it was a very slow day we only caught a few fish all day long and little things like this are just invaluable you know so uh, let's watch this one go on and you'll see a few nice fish here caught because of side scam oh yeah i'm pointing those fish out to zach right there and you can see here on the screenshot those four striped bass that you can see and those are the shadows and lower on the screen you can see the shadows off to the left now we're not marking those fish which means they're probably higher in the water column and we only saw the shadows i'm going to add some more side scan videos to this in our sonar for dummies to uh, you know break all this stuff down further but you can see how just by taking a quick look here we saw those fish out to the left side. We cast it out there and we caught fish. Such a great tool. Yeah, uh, that was a bite. Just had a bite. It was probably about 15 or 20 foot out from the boat where that one hit. There he is, striper. Got him. Nice. Peel and drag off. <laughs> They're the ones we marked, bro. Peel and drag. That ain't no bad uh, green bass. On the deep side, It must be just off the end of that point. Look, Look at that. there they are. Yeah. Got a little side scan, huh? <laughs> this is no five pounder, son. Man, he's really cool. He sure as hell is, bro. Hey. I really. He's moving a little too quick. Oh, that's a nice striker, bro. Oh, you gotta love that, dude. Hey, you just gotta love it. Blue and silver. BKD. Really good looking fish, man. Hmm, about a 24 inch fish. Beautiful. Okay, we are fluke fishing here in Long Island. And you can see, that's what fluke looked like on the bottom. See that color there that's just above the green? We just passed over it. 
I'm gonna back up. You see it's a solid bottom here the whole way. And these are sand eels right here. And that's fluke on the bottom, right underneath those sand eels. That's that air bladder gives them away. Even though they're hanging really close to the bottom, on the bottom, like they're part of the bottom, that air bladder always gives them away. And with this chirp sonar, with this Evo 2, this Simrad Evo 2, man, you're not gonna get away. And there you go, he just caught that fish. All right. Oh, that's, that's like, he, just, is, uh, he just lost that fluke and here he is going right down to the bottom. That Simrad is, is, a, is a maniac. Look at this display, Dre. Check this out. That's that fluke going back down to the bottom. Really? Yep. Here, yeah, here's where here's where the fluke was. Yeah. And it, these two thin lines, yeah. that's his jig. Okay? This is the fish coming up to look at the bait. That's the fish coming up to look at the bait. One of these, he bit it. I'm uh -huh. going to say it's that one because that's later. He fought the fish up. So he fought the fish up. And that's where the hey, fish came off. off. Oh, wow. He, went, yeah, he, he shot straight to the bottom like an arrow. Wow.